Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to set up your Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Generation 2 for your PlayStation 4 and 5. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I was recently at Best Buy and I bought the Stealth 700 Generation 2. Now this came with a USB to USB-C cable for charging purposes and connecting to your computer. And also a small USB transmitter I can go ahead and plug in my PlayStation or my computer which makes the signal much more effective and clear. Now you do have an option to connect to your phone or your computer by a Bluetooth connection right here and I noticed that can sometimes be a little bit iffy and can cut up. So this USB transmitter is the best way to connect to your computer for sure. So let's go ahead and connect this USB transmitter to the back of my PlayStation 5. So on the back of the PlayStation 5, there is currently two USB ports. One is in use and that is for my PlayStation camera right here. So let's take this small USB transmitter and just plug in the open USB slot right here all right so it's plugged in and it's searching for available devices to connect to so i can see it flashing blue let's go over my headset right now so here is my headset and if you don't know you can easily take down the mic just like that by flipping it up and this is how you actually mute or unmute it when you have it closed like this your microphone is muted when it's out like this it's active and you can talk to people and hear yourself speak with the mic monitoring and here are all the side buttons. Now the first one is for your volume for your game audio and your party chat. Next one will be for mic monitoring so you can hear yourself in your microphone when you speak. And this button right here is for superhuman hearing mode or it will default back to the normal mode when you press it. The power button, let's go ahead and press the power button down for a couple seconds here. It will turn on the headset right here. You can tell it's on and you'll hear it in your speakers as well. Then the next option is for Bluetooth pairing. So if you go ahead and press this button down, you will go ahead and search for available devices to connect your head to. So I can tell my headset is on because this is blue. When it's turning off, it will turn red. And here is where you charge your headset. So take that USB-C cable and plug it in right here. It will charge your headset. Now you will get around 20 hours of battery life with a full charge. So now let's go over to my PlayStation 5 and go through some sound settings. So now on your PlayStation 5, press the PlayStation button and open up this quick menu and then go down to sound and make sure your output device is your USB headset, Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Generation 2. Then go down to headphones and turn this all the way up to the right. If you do not have all the way to the right, you will get this weird distortion sound when you're on the home screen of the PlayStation 5. When you're clicking through the menu and when you listen to the music, it will sound very, very bad and distorted. So make sure you have that all the way to the right and lower your headset volume so it's not maxed out. And it won't sound so bad. Now let's go over to mic and make sure we're on the input device for USB headset, Turtle Beach. Then go down to adjust microphone level and make sure this is in the good section and it's not all the way up to the right and smack in the right side here. Our microphone would be way too sensitive and we would probably have some echo or reverb inside our headset. So bring this down to about the three, four section where it's not all the way up to the up. So that's good right about there. Now let's back out there go to the home screen and go up to settings. Now let's go down to sound and select this. Now let's go down to audio output and scroll down to output to headphones. We can make sure this is set to all audio right here. So we get game chat and party chat and the game sound all in our earphones and not just the chat. Then enable 3D audio and go to adjust 3D audio profile. 
we'll have five different types of different sound levels on here for our 3d audio the default will be like right in the middle the uh, type one will be the highest and type five will be the lowest for me type one was kind of the best with my old headset now type three is kind of good with my turtle beach headset so make sure you're adjusting that appropriately so this is it for the playstation 5 settings now let's go over to my phone where we can adjust these settings a little bit further all right, so on your phone, go to the Google Play Store and search for Turtle Beach and get the Turtle Beach Audio Hub and open this up and connect your headset. So I'm connecting to the device right now and getting the latest firmware. Now make sure your headset is up to date. Now what we want to go ahead and do is turn on the mic monitoring and just go ahead and just go through this and find out the best section for you sometimes the mic monitoring might be a little bit too loud for you guys and you'll hear a lot of stuff in the background um, like a fan noise or something going on and you'll hear that in your headset and it'll have like a hissing noise and that's one of the reasons for that as well and go to the game presets if you are on the playstation 5 if you're on the playstation 4 this may not be a big deal but go to a custom preset right here and swipe left and edit if you're on the playstation 5 this is kind of what you want to have on the game trouble level down and your game dialogue level down and your game base doesn't matter as much if you do not do this you will have that hissy noise that distorted sound a little bit more than you would on the playstation 4 it's not as big of a deal so let's go back out of this now let's go to the right now you can change your buttons so right now you can see the bluetooth volume is my bottom button and i can adjust the volume for that so if i'm connected to a computer i can adjust the volume on my headset for my computer sound that would be below my actual volume button for my game sound now you can click on this this is the mode button so it's by default selected to superhuman mode but you can go to game preset mic noise gate and turn that on and off but the noise gate, I have that turned on. So the noise gate will get rid of the low end sounds and like the high end sounds and leave the clear audio right in the middle between those. So a lot of those little clicking noises you won't hear. And a lot of those like really loud noises you won't hear as much either. And I'll kind of tone it down and just give you a little bit better audio. So definitely get this application and go through here and check it out. And it's even giving me the battery life on my headset if you look at the top of the application. Now, if you want to go ahead and connect your Turtle Beach headset to like your phone or something, what you would want to go ahead and do is swipe down from the top and go to Bluetooth right here and hold that down and click on this and bring open your Bluetooth menu here. Then you wanna make sure it's scanning for devices. So at the top it says stop, it will say scan. Go ahead and press scan. Now press the Bluetooth button on your headset and it'll go ahead and put the headset under the available devices. Now mine's already connected to my PC, but you will wanna go ahead and click the option that says PlayStation G2 audio, something like that. And you'll be able to get the audio on your phone and you can even do this on your PC very easily. And you'll be able to take incoming calls. You'll listen to YouTube, music, or anything else on here. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.